into the video, I want to tell you guys about my new Patreon that I just started, where you can donate money at any amount to help save the channel, and to also help build the quality of my videos for you, loyal fans. I will leave a link in the bio down below, in the description down below for more info. Click on the link and donate at any amount that you want that will help me and you build a better channel, and also save the channel at that being as well. Now, enjoy the video you guys, peace out. Reaction Action Nation here with the World of Devin segment and today I am here to react to the top five youtubers who caught ghosts in their videos um, I don't think I've done this before. I've done a lot of creepy stuff before but I've never done this before So if I've done this before let me know down in the comment section down below But if I haven't then let's go on this whatever we're trying to watch and let's see what's up do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, hit that bell for my notification mail come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to react to next, and I got you found hashtag R-A-N. The mix of yellow and green in this video is uncanny. It's like a freaking cave rainforest around here. Or what is it called? Rainforest Cafe? There you go. I always want to go there. Anyway, random thoughts. Let's get right into this reaction video, you guys. Let's go. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Nexus. Thank you. The lucky thing about being a YouTuber is always having a camera on hand to record things. Right. Which is probably great if you're someone who likes to hunt for indisputable evidence of the paranormal. I don't. If you don't want to search for the evidence of the paranormal, then sometimes you might get unlucky and stumble across some in a bit of otherwise oh, harmless footage. And then good luck sleeping for the next month. Right. Watch this video to find out the top 5 YouTubers who caught ghosts in their videos. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get new content similar to this every day. Also, make sure to comment down below letting us know which was your favorite. And for this video, let's see if we can hit the golden like button, which is a thousand likes, so make sure to drop a like down below. Hmm. Number five. The golden like button. If you want to watch a video of some guy's closet for 10 minutes, you've come to the right place. Of course, I'm kidding though. Sort of. Because this guy is actually YouTuber Faze Rug, who boasts 5.8 million subscribers and a whole host of ghost sightings. He's long suspected that his house is haunted. And the video actually starts with clips of a different video he just made where he talks about an experience he had literally the night before where he heard some majorly creepy sounds coming from his garage. Unfortunately, those creepy sounds weren't caught on camera. But the weird stuff that happened in his room while he was discussing this most definitely was. Basically what happens is the clothes in his closet get moved around on their own. Something which he shows has happened in a different video about six months earlier. And which frequently keeps happening during the clips from his Black Ops video we keep seeing. So it happens a whole bunch, and he even goes so far as to try and debunk it by putting a ceiling fan on the strongest setting, to see if the clothes move. It's down to you whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that the clothes do not move about when the fan gets switched on, depending on how scared you are of ghosts. From this point, things just get even weirder when he's distracted by another noise while filming, and rushes upstairs to investigate. Finding nothing, he comes back and discovers that his camera memory card has been pulled out and corrupted thereby deleting this brief segment in a footage where the noise upstairs was heard and where, again, he was talking about the ghost. However, some of you may also know that Faze Rug has previously tried to use Ouija boards in his house to find uh, out if that's why. Wanted. So he kind of had it coming if he was trying to talk to demons anyway. And I came back and... So last night I came home around 12.30 a.m. Uh, I was hanging out with my friend Lawrence and we went to the movies and everything. It was pretty fun. And I came back and there's no way. No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> now, the thing you have to remember sometimes about YouTubers is that everything they make is to get views. For some people, that's the entire point of being a YouTuber. And their mindset is that there's no reason to continue if you haven't got any subscribers. So bear that in mind when you see these next hmm. pieces of footage from the vlogger Larissa Rachel, who claims that there's a ghost living under her bed. Already, that sort of screams cliche, because everyone is scared of monsters under the bed when they're kids. But Marissa goes further and manages to capture what she claims is genuine proof of this specter. The video continues with, yet again, clips from an old vlog of hers, where she then leaves the camera on and goes out of the room, switching off all the lights except one to illuminate what the camera is looking at. 
Then it gets spooky, which Marissa says is a very heavy camera, is pushed forwards on its tripod so that it's facing downwards at the space under the bed. And then we see what we're supposed to believe is the hand of a young child, which is quickly retracted as soon as the camera points at it. But is everything as it seems? As one particularly observant commenter pointed out, it kind of looks like a doll's hand. And looking at it myself, I'm sort of inclined to believe that explanation. Because there could very easily be a hand on a stick attached to a clever string setup, which we very easily wouldn't be able to see. Just tugged by someone off camera to create the illusion of movement. And as for the heavy camera, it's a bit weird how it's timed so well that the ghost pulls its hand out of sight as soon as the camera faces it. And it seems a little bit more likely that this is staged. But then, I guess, who could tell for sure? And as you can see, the camera is moving down. I have a really, really big, heavy camera and lens. So it oftentimes just kind of like weighs down and tilts down like that. So as you can see, there looks to be some sort of like child's hand or something that just pulls back really quickly um, as the camera's tilting down, almost as if it like really? doesn't want to be seen. So the hand was waiting for you there until Number you three. looked at it and you, it pulled, I don't Dan know. Dan TDM is a British YouTuber who actually has the world record for the most views on a primarily Minecraft channel. But this video is on his alternate vlogging channel, more TDM. And what he's doing is testing out a ghost hunting app for iPhone. It's clear from the offset that he doesn't believe the app one bit. And personally, I don't believe it either because it basically makes no sense. The app starts up trying to load up an EMF detector, which, while it is a tool used by ghost hunters, I'm pretty sure they're not built into the hardware of a regular cell phone. So, chances are that this app is a load of garbage, and I could definitely see how it might scare the pants off you. So Dan loads up the app, looking to see if there are any ghosts around him. And lo and behold, there are at least half a dozen ghosts hanging out in his house. And they even say typical creepy things like in the closet and abyss, and it is coming. The app also tells you how old the ghosts are, and if they're friendly or hostile, and he gets a good mix of both. Along with all this, there's also a spiritism function which actually allows you to ask the ghost questions, and they reply with either yes or no, if you can believe that. Though the app does claim that an accuracy of percentage of under 50% is unreliable. Personally, I think the whole app is unreliable because to me all the ghosts in the footage look like videos that move around when the camera moves and have all the personality of a Snapchat filter, and they probably use the exact same tracking technology. This app is probably really fun when you're hanging out with a bunch of friends and decide you want to talk about the dead for kicks, but I wouldn't take it as hands down proof of the supernatural. So let's just load it up. Look, the sensor calibration is happening. EMF, K2 REM and Gauss is all okay and ready to go. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness. Look, it says ghost age 101. Look at that, there's like a ghost haunting my shelves. Really? Number two. I believe this in ghosts, This is easily man. the what, oldest what video on our list. Prank vs. Prank! Coming from former YouTube stars Jesse and Gianna, who made their videos together for popular channel Prank vs. Prank, up until last May when they broke up due to stress of documenting every aspect of their relationship for YouTube. Wow. The video is nearly five years old and comes from October 2012, where the two of them are going to check out a haunted cemetery in Germany. The majority of the vlog is about their holiday in Germany rather than the spooky haunted graveyard. And when I'm you really watch it, up. you realize they actually get lost and can't even find the place to begin with. It's around seven minutes into the whole vlog that we finally see something creepy, in the form of a woman standing completely still with her hair covering her whole face, which serves to scare the hell out of Jesse, who runs away with the camera. But you have to remember that they are a prank-based YouTuber, which is probably why it turns out it was their friend Allie all along pretending to be the ghost to scare them. They scare the guys again when they're back at the hotel later on by running into the room and screaming, which is pretty funny, but again, not a real ghost sighting. Makes you wonder if there was ever any haunted cemetery or if the whole thing was just a ruse to scare Jesse. Because it wouldn't exactly be surprising if it was a second one, since all these two ever did in their videos was prank each other. Yeah, I don't know. We'll walk in the cemetery though and try and scare ourselves a little bit. Hopefully, we don't see any crazy zombie. I can't see anything because it's blight. And, and it's blight. It's blight. I'm scared. But you could go to, to Charles and Allie's vlog too and kind of see, like, whoa, 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 Wait, wait, where did Allie go? It sounded like a dog. So creepy here. Who was that? <sighs> really? Yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh. Really? Honorable mention. Our honorable mention is from Guava Juice, who takes a break from his normal funny videos to make an impromptu vlog when he gets woken from his nap by some creepy noises and knocking. He claims his house has a tragic history and something bad happened to the previous owners, though he doesn't know the details, and eventually traces all the sounds to the attic though he gets too spooked to actually go up. 
When he leaves his camera behind to take a walk, we see what totally does look like a ghost as something moves outside, and then his doors open and they close themselves a couple times, and then the camera gets completely knocked over. Spooky, right? Whoa, that was Number one. My, probably the most believable Another album. video from a YouTuber on holiday, but this time it's Wolfie Raps. And he's in Toronto rather than on the outskirts of Munich. And again, the first half of it details the other bits of the holiday rather than any actual ghost sighting. They end up wandering around in a random abandoned building, which they're probably trespassing inside to be honest. Though I can't see how anyone would care about them being there. Except all the ghosts, obviously. It's obviously condemned and filled with a ridiculous amount of danger signs as they climb up and eventually get to the roof and there's actually a pretty neat view of some of the tall buildings in Toronto. To be honest, it's kind of hard to work out which part of this video is the ghost sighting, but it seems like the sighting is when something hits a fence very loudly and makes it wrinkle, as Wolfie says. Honestly, some of the earlier videos on this list were much better proof of the paranormal than this one, but it makes number one because of the creepiness of the abandoned building they find themselves in, while some of the others are actually higher up because they're just boring houses or graveyards that may or not actually exist. It's always going to be some pretty risky business going into abandoned buildings in a strange city you've never been to before. And props have to go to Wolfie for facing his fears of the dark and ghosts to even go into the building anyways, which he does out of loyalty to his friends. Right. You guys aren't keeping track of the floors around? We could be going to the basement right now. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to the basement. Bro, let's just... Yo, what the f*** was that? Yo, I'm gone! I'm gone! I'm gone! I'm gone! I'm gone! I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Yee, yee, yee. That was our list of the top 5 YouTubers who caught ghosts in their videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a video in the future. And hit the like button too so we can hit the golden like of a thousand. Thanks for watching guys. Peace! Wow. Okay, so I'll put it like this. A couple of those looked real. A few of them look fake. Um... You can always tell by someone's reaction. Like, I believe in ghosts, you know? But, um, you can always tell on someone's reaction um, if something's real or not. And the the vibe that they were really giving off, it didn't really seem real, you know? But, you know, maybe I'm wrong, you know? Maybe they did see something. Maybe that's just how they react. You never know. But, uh, yeah. I, okay. <laughs> how do I put this? I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, growing up, uh, we used to go over to my grandmother's house. I think I told the story before on my channel, if you go on my story times. We used to go to my, grandma, my grandmother's house, and, um, my sister would always, my older sister, my oldest sister, she would always say that she would capture ghosts in our apartment when we would leave, you know? Um, you know, little boys running down the, running down the hallway, and all these things, all these creepy things that you don't want to hear when you when you were my age around that time, which was like eight years old. But um, I never denied it and said, oh, there's no ghosts, because I do believe in ghosts. I do, you know. Um, they, they, don't, they don't want to be bothered, you know. And if you bother them, then that's when they bother you, and, and they don't want to be bothered. They're, they're just here, they're chilling, you know. Um, but... Um, yeah, uh, those those reactions were crazy. Uh, hopefully, everyone's all right. Um, I didn't know that um, Prank versus Prank broke up. I, that, that was like a shocker. That was that was a shocker to me. I, I'm surprised because they were legit cool as hell. But uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was my uh, reaction to the top five YouTubers who caught ghosts on their videos. Uh, if you like my reaction, then do me a favor and hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell for more notifications for me, I'll come to you, also let me know what you want me to react to next, and I got you fam, hashtag R-E-N. I'm a you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.